Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on Nixus Gaming. We are here in my All the Mods world and you may notice some changes. Uh, the most prominent being I've torn down a lot of this tower that was here and just renovated a little. Uh, the tower was inconvenient and instead of renovating it every time I do a mod, like trying to stuff that into another floor of the tower, I'm turning it all into a magical forest. It's going to be sectioned off by mod type. You can see blood magic right here. I've rebuilt the altar like right this time. This will actually hold all the tiers that we have to build it in. And I redid this ritual here so I can move this portal over here and it is active. The stuff is right there. And you can see I've kind of been moving all the Botania stuff here. I got like the main setup. I got the portal and mana generation. Um, this is an interesting little experiment. I don't know if this single tree setup can keep the portal open eternally, but we'll see. It may be changed by the next episode of this. I don't know. But yeah, uh, enough about that. We aren't here for that. We did a whole series on that. We're here for blood magic. Now, I know I said... Excuse me, sir. Uh, guys, guys, please. Please? We are here for blood magic. Now, I know that I said that we were going to do some weird demon will uh, manipulation and that crazy stuff. I was looking at it. Uh, where is it? Demon will. I was looking at the will manipulation because I don't think we really need any of this stuff. We can make that anyway with what we have. We already have the sentient sword. We can make explosive charges and throwing daggers. The item routing is really just for moving items around. Uh, what I was going to look into was the demon will aura and crystallized will where you like put aura into the atmosphere of a chunk. And then uh, you have another thing that like crystallizes it so you can just mine demon will. And that sounds really cool overall, but I, I don't think you can get anything from that. As far as I know, it's just it's just a way to get different um, different wills that you can have your sentient tools use, which I don't think that's really worth all the effort to put into. Maybe we'll come back to it after everything else for blood magic, but I'd rather get to the cooler stuff. So I was going to start off today by building the next tier of the blood altar, getting on with that, but... Looking at the recipe, we're already popping back into this book. Looking at the overall build recipe for it. We can make the runes easy, but we need these things here. These bloodstone bricks. And to make those, we need weak blood shards. And to make that, we're going to need this sanguine reverter in an alchemical reaction chamber. So the Sanguine Reverter we can easily make from, um, from the Hellfire Forge. And the Alchemical Reaction Chamber we can just make in a crafting thing too. And it looks like it's the only way to get weak blood shards. So we have to figure this out before we can do that. So let's go ahead and start. We'll make the two imbued slates. We'll get those going. We'll get the blocks of iron, blah, blah, blah. I moved my storage over here, by the way. I just did it, so I might not remember where everything is. That's fine. Um, stone. Stone? Stone. I believe we were running through the polish stuff. So we'll grab that. What else was there? Uh, just any stone. Gotcha. Okay. This should be everything we'll need. We'll go ahead and pop this in. Get it going. For that imbued slate we need. Uh, let's see, we're going to need to make a furnace. I don't think I can make a furnace out of this stone. Oh, I can. Looky there. Easy. Uh, duh, duh, duh. We got that. We're going to need our blood orb from the chest here. Our magician one will do. 
And we're going to need this saturated tau too, after all is said and done. It's on the second stage. It's about to go to the third. Good, good. And wait. Oh no, that's that's the wrong one. It needs to go one more stage to be imbued. Okay. Alright, so we'll have all the stuff for that. That's easy. And then this. We need a third imbued slate. Shears, granite, and an iron ingot. So let's go ahead and get that stuff. One iron ingot. I'm curious if... Uh, it can be any pair of shears. That that one's a little broken. But hopefully it works. And we got granite right there. Good, good, good stuff. Uh, did not mean to do that. I meant to put that up there. That's the first imbued slate. We can go ahead and do what we need to do here. With the one while we wait for that. So, Iron Ingot, Shears, Granite, and the Imbued Slate, a common Tartaric Gem. Hopefully it has enough will in it. That might be the, um, the linchpin here, if it doesn't have enough. And the Iron Ingot, and the common Tartaric Gem. And a Hellfire Forge. Minimum 350, it'll drain 30. I'm pretty sure... Oh no, I only have 249. We need to go get some more will while this is doing its thing here. How's this looking on blood? It's slowly draining. Okay, well, we'll get our sentient sword out and go get some will. Also, I'm going to need to refill this. This uh, incense altar, by the way, it, it works really well for filling this thing up. I only need to right-click once to bring myself down to like 10% health, which is really nice. And it gives me a nice bonus. So just by doing this once, that is almost completely full now. So go ahead and pop one of those in while we go do this. Hopefully there's some monsters in here. The chest situation is a little bit of a mess. Uh, weird glitch there. It'll be fixed sooner or later. Don't worry. Alright, come at me. I don't know why I'm trying to be careful about it. Just get in there. They can't kill me. Okay, that, did I get any from that? Am I doing this right? Yeah, this this is what I used to get Will. I'm at uh, 280.35. Okay, I am getting Will. It's just very slow. It might take a few trips down here to get all I need. We're almost at 300. Trying to walk over there just to get more to spawn while I wait. Uh, there is a cave here we might be able to just go through a little bit, but no, it stops there. Never mind. Oh, they got enchanted bows. You don't. You're not part of the enchanted bow gang. Alright, that's 318. We are getting there. Oh, didn't mean to fall there. That's the problem with moving so fast. Just trying to clear up some of this junk that I'm getting. No one spawned yet. Drop down here, fly back up. Maybe they'll be here. No. Drop all the way down, maybe. Fly back over here. Ping pong off the wall. Come back. Ah, here we go. Now it's a party again. Why can't I not hit any of you? Alright, that puts us at 360. That is enough. Once again, just going to throw a lot of this junk out. 
I end up needing it later, it's not like it's hard to get, you know? Okay. And this other slate should be done as well. Good, good. Now we should be able to pop that in. It is working. It says it only drains 30. It does indeed only drain 30. We have the Sanguine Reverter. Okay, and now we're going to use that in the other thing we have to make. We need to make this Alchemical Reaction Chamber. Which, let's see if I can just remember that. Three stone on top. The blocks of iron were here. Those there and that in the middle? Yeah, I got it. Cool. Alchemical Reaction Chamber. Just going to plop that down in the middle there. Basically, you throw this Sanguine Reverter in. And that's going to revert stuff to their previous form. So like these blood orbs that we don't use anymore. Let me pop that in. I got the block of gold back from it. Now I can do that 31 times. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the apprentice one in as well. That should get me the diamond back, I believe. No, redstone. Oh, where's my weak one? That's the... Shit. I made a mistake. I accidentally reverted my good one. That was the block of gold. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, and this should be just about finished up. So, good example there. You get the block you made from it back. You don't get any of the life points back, though. So, I had to refill that. And uh, let's make sure this time we put in the weak blood orb. And we keep this one. <laughs> and we get the diamond back. That is what I meant to do. Okay. Now that's nice that we can do that. It is. But that's not what we have to do. I think we have to throw the saturated towel in. Let's see... Yeah, Saturated Tau makes the weak blood shard. So I guess you always get one, but that means you get a 20% chance at a second one, maybe? I don't know. I have some here. I'm guessing I just plop them there. I don't know what this whole section is. But uh, we're making them. I don't want to make too many. How many do I need? Uh, let's see, bloodstone bricks, one of them makes eight. And, okay, yeah. Yeah, eight should be more than enough right now. I'm going to keep the sanguine reverter in there because I don't know where else to put it. And now we can start putting together this stuff. I put that there, that there, that makes the bricks, and then I do that. And that makes the actual bricks that we need to put down on top of these. One, two, three, and four. Creepers, I don't want to deal with you right now. I should be, well, I'm doing blood magic. I should be at least killing them with the uh, sentient sword. Just in case I do need more will, you know? Okay. So we got that. We just need to make the runes now. We need 28 more than what we have here. I luckily already have uh, 8 extra. So I can go ahead and put these there. Guys, guys, please. I'm going to have to light up that bit there because that's where they're all coming from. Uh, let's put those back. And then... Plop that down so I can go ahead and put that there. I'm going to start off and just put all the self-sacrifice runes down. That way it'll help us overall with our sacrificing. But I'm sure afterwards I'm going to have to at least add in some capacity runes and who knows what else. But for now, we're just going to go with that. I need 20 more of these. Which, I should have the recipes still saved here. Yeah, self-sacrifice. I'm going to need 20 imbued slates. And then 20 reinforced slates. I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. It's just going to be a bunch of me self-sacrificing. Also, another thing I should be doing while doing this is wearing my living armor. That helps me sacrifice more efficiently. 
What is that? Oh. We got a backpack. I don't want it right now. Probably a bad move, move but oh well. Yeah, I'm just going to start self-sacrificing until I get all the slates that I need, and I'll come back when I'm done there. So I'll be right back. And we are back. I have 20 blank slates, 20 reinforced slates. That should be all we need. As you can see here, I was just breaking some of it so I can make the slates easier without making the next tier wasting blood magic. That's all that was. But without ado, um, what else do we need? We need 40? Of, no, we need 20 of these things. I don't think I have enough stone in my inventory. I do. I had just enough to make all the blank runes, and now I need more for the runes of sacrifice. Okay. Let's hop into our stone chest here. Can I use netherrack? I got plenty of netherrack. No, I can't use netherrack, sadly. All right, we'll pop that all back in. Can I use stone bricks? And I hear the zombie. He's coming for me somewhere. No, you can't use stone bricks either. It's like all the stuff I have plenty of you can't use. Why? I have polished andesite. Oh, I'm dumb. I am actually dumb. I don't have the glowstone to make it. Okay. <laughs> My bad. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead, make what we can out of that. Now we're out of stone. There's the zombie. Now, can I use netherrack? I cannot use netherrack, sadly. So netherrack is definitely off the table. What about stone bricks? I can't use stone bricks either. That is a big sad. Uh, what else? I have regular andesite. I guess we can use that. I'm, I've already blown through my glowstone. That's great. Um, bear with me here. I have all of my mystical agriculture stuff sorted into these chests, so had to find it real quick. Also, that's really useful, being able to see what's inside it. I think I would prefer the, the sign, though, honestly. Alright, how much of this stuff am I going to need? I might as well make all of it, right? Like, I'll blow through it eventually. Right, yeah. Okay. Uh, I've run out of stone again. It's a process. It is a process, people. I doubt I can use endstone if I couldn't use netherrack, you know? Yeah, endstone doesn't work. How about some black stone? No. Does none of my stone work? Mossy cobblestone? No. Make sure that is what I'm missing. I have everything else. Man, this sucks. Maybe smooth stone. No. I don't think it's any manufactured stones, if that makes sense. Sandstone? There's so many different types of stone, and you can't use it for all of it. Okay, my other... Thing is maybe using some of the modded stone. We'll try some rocky stone. Yeah, yeah, that works. That's good because I have a ton of that stuff. Okay, we got the 20 runes of self-sacrifice we need. Let me, well, I was going to go ahead and sleep. Never mind. I am not going to sleep because it's daytime anyway. Hey, Enderman, don't mind me. I'm just placing these down. Whoops, placed it wrong there. Didn't mean to break that either. Okay, it's seven across on each side. And break this piece and put it in the right spot. And that should be the next tier altar. It says tier three. Tier four, it just moved up. Okay, we have a tier four altar now. 
So we're going to start with the basics. The basics would be the next tier blood orb, which I believe we just control on this. The next tier is the master blood orb, the last one, but we need 40,000 life points for this. And this one holds 26,000. So we need more capacity runes, or even better, even better, now that we have this tier, we can get augmented capacity, which is multiplicative, plus 7.5% per rune. So I'm not sure when it gets better using those, but I would rather upgrade these into those and start using those. So we're not going to need to make more runes for that. We need to make Demonic Slates, which is the next tier. We need Obsidian and Buckets. But we can turn these Runes of Capacity into Runes of Augmented Capacity. So I guess, like, real quick, uh, we're going to need that Rocky Stone to make these. Let's go ahead and just grab a stack. I'll show you guys how to get the next tier it's pretty basic let me just go ahead and eat a little bit refill some health before i do this place that down make sure there's enough life points in there that stone is going to take a thousand life points to turn into a blank slate yeah into a blank slate and then that is going to take 2,000 life points to turn into a reinforced slate. It'll stay in there. 5,000 life points later, it'll turn into an imbued slate. And then 15,000 more life points later, it'll turn into a demonic slate. Yeah, so right now it's the reinforced. So that is 20, 22, 23,000 life points total. So at the moment, this current blood altar needs to be just about full to make a demonic slate in one go without me having to sacrifice more. Which is very painful. I don't know how many of these we're going to need either. I think we're just going to go one by one until we have 40,000 total in the storage here. So let's see. This It's getting there. It's... Almost to the demonic slate stage. Might as well just wait it out at this point. I have buckets on me. Let's go grab the obsidian. I don't have a lot of obsidian, but I do have some. I have 13. And what else was there? Wait. Damn it. I can't actually make the augmented capacity yet. I need the master blood orb first. Which means we need to make a bunch of these regular capacity runes. Oh boy. Uh, do I have those? I do have those saved here. They, of course, need the imbued slates, it looks like. Um, I can check in the book. Let's see, regular capacity, yeah, they need the imbued ones. They add 2,000 per, so we need to bring this up from 26,000 to 40,000. That's 14,000 extra. We need seven more of these. And then we can make the Master Blood Orb. And then we might start transforming these into augmented capacity. Just see how much we can get out of them. But uh, with that being said, I now know we need seven more of these imbued slates and seven of the regular slates. So I'll be right back. Okay, should have what I need now to get started. Let's go ahead and start with the seven blank runes that we want. And we upgrade these to capacity. We have the buckets there. What are we missing? Am I missing stone again? I'm missing stone again. I love this. You, you go through so much stone in this mod. It's insane. There we go. One, two, why? 
Oh, it does use the buckets. That's my bad. I didn't think it used the buckets last time, but I guess it did. It's not like we have a ton of iron, so let's just go ahead and make... How many more? Six times three, 18 buckets. 18 buckets. That is a lot of buckets. That is not even enough there. I still need five more. I can math. Okay. And just one more. That is enough buckets. With that, we can make one, two, three, four, five, six more of these. And we're good. We'll definitely need to make... Let's go ahead and just, before I forget... I always like to keep a bucket in my inventory, at least. You never know when you'll need a bucket. All right, we got the rooms of capacity now. Seven of them. And it's an odd number. So what I'm thinking is at the top here, we get rid of these three, like a triangle. And we'll put them there, and then we'll put these other ones on this bottom ring here in the middle. Like that. There we go. Now let's go ahead and put them down. Do they automatically go in like the right direction? I think they do, yeah. That's nice. Okay, and now we should see this go to 40,000 as its total. 40,000. That is great. Because now that is enough to make our master blood orb. The final blood orb that we need. I don't actually know where it is in the book, so let me do it this way. And we just need to put a weak blood shard on there, which we have right here. We're going to need to fill this up, though. Is this enough health? Uh, it's now full, or is it? No, it's still like a little low. Oh, you can't actually kill yourself if you have the um, tranquility thing there. That's good to know. It won't let you sacrifice more than that. I'm just trying to actually fill up that bar. I don't think it is, it's going to, though. So let's just let it run low a little bit. That needs to fill up all the way from 40,000. At the rate it's emptying, I don't... It doesn't look like it's enough, but there's definitely enough there. I right, just threw in a little bit more, so it should be good. Alright, so that's going to get our Master Blood Orb. Which then, we can start looking into... I'm still going to go ahead and upgrade these into Augmented Capacity. I don't know how much life points we'll need this thing to have by the end of it. Max capacity, 1 million. That's going to take forever to fill up. No matter how many augmented ones we have. Uh, let's see. This should tell us what we can do with a tier 4, right? No? Here to get started, maybe? We can work on other rituals and stuff. The ritual tinker will aspects... That's all the demon will stuff that I didn't want to get into yet. I didn't know I needed tier 4 for that. Okay. So ritual tinkerer, we just need the demonic slates. And we don't really need a whole lot more capacity in this thing. Oh, it's done. I want to upgrade it anyway because I feel like it would be really cool. Also, this old blood orb... That's not the right thing. This old blood orb, just throw it in there. And we should get the block of gold back from it. Cool. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead. We'll go ahead and make like the first one on camera, I guess. So that's in blood altars, augmented capacity. We already have the demonic slate. We'll just grab one of the runes here. Do we have four obsidian? Perfect. Alright, so start with this one, I guess. 
Now, is that enough? It was obsidian around the edge, that in the middle, that below it, that on top, and what on the side? Two buckets. We need more buckets. Okay. Let's make two more of these. All right, now we should be able to make this. I think I have the rest of the layout, correct? I do, that is an augmented capacity rune. So from changing this, we're gonna go from 40,000 to 40,850, which isn't a lot, but I think the more of these we have, the better it'll be. Because that's already better than what it was, you know? That being said, I'm going to go ahead and craft these. Um, going to need a lot of demonic slates, so I'm not going to make you guys wait through all that. You've seen how it's done, and I'll be back when it's done. Um, So real quick, I'm going to do these one at a time, just so you guys can see the added effect as it goes. I did remove an extra capacity rune because... Just for now, I would like it to still be about 40,000. And I'm curious how many of these I can get rid of while adding these to keep it around 40,000, if that makes sense. So right now, we're at one of these. How many of the regular capacity ones did we need total? One, two, three, plus eight equals 11. We needed 15 total of those. So I'm going to jot down that number. We need 15 capacity runes to hit 45, or 40,000, right? And we're going to see how many of the augmented ones it takes to hit 40,000. All right, so I have enough for one more of these augmented ones. We're going to put it right here. And that puts us... Already a major increase there, 41,000. So that being said, let's go ahead and get rid of one of those. Keep it below 40,000 for purpose of the experiments. Although not much lower, 39,000. Basically, the idea is the more of these we put in, the less of these we need, so the more of these we can put in. So let's cut to the next one. This is augmented capacity number three. So keep in mind right now, it can hold 39,000. So if we throw in one more of these, let it update, 42,000. So it not exactly, I think we got like close to 3,000 capacity from one of these after three of them. So think, after just three of them, the regular capacity only does 2,000 all the way through. But after three of these, we're already getting more capacity from all of these. So now, in fact, I can already just get rid of that one, put down one of these, and we still have over 40,000 capacity. I'm wrong. We have almost 40,000, but you get the idea. More of these we have... The less of these we need, the more of these we need. Alright, I got the next demonic slate ready to go, but we are out of obsidian, so we're going to need some more of that. Where is obsidian essence? There it is. Uh, let's go ahead and craft this into some good old obsidian. That is a stack in one. We had like one left over. That's fine because that is our augmented capacity. That gets rid of the extra one. Okay, so right now we are at 39,700. So, let's replace you. Puts us at... That there's no way. There's no way. Only that much? Oh, I'm dumb. I'm not supposed to replace...
these when we're doing the experiments. Uh, hold on. We gotta keep it consistent. We're replacing the, um, the sacrifice runes with them first. That way we get an idea of how, how much it increases per extra augmented. It makes sense scientifically, I swear. I just can't put it into words very well. So we, we went from 39,700 to 42,700. So that is a full 3,000 capacity increase. Now we can definitely go ahead and get rid of one of these. And we should stay over 40,000, yes. Which means I'm going to go ahead and get rid of two of them. So that we stay below 40,000 for now. Okay, so, um, that was sort of a waste of time. I'm stopping it here because I've lost the bonus that I'm getting from it. And I actually, I have the same amount of runes that I started with, but I somehow have less. Uh, so, like, the only reason I can think for that is these add 7.5%, right? But I think they count the capacity runes as well. Meaning, as I'm getting rid of the regular capacity runes, there's less 
for the augmented ones to multiply off of. So, like, there's some funky math that I have to work out to make this efficient. Um, and I'm definitely doing it wrong right now. The plan is not to upgrade all of them to augmented capacity. It does not work how I thought it would. And it is only hurting me in the long run. So... For now, we're going to leave this as it is. I'll try and figure out something in between episodes math-wise to get it to look better and be better. But yeah, we're going to leave it at that. Um, big waste of time. We're going to move down to our incense altar because now that we are at a new tier, we can make better paths than this. And I think they're really easy to make. I think you make them out of the stone paths. So let's go ahead and open up that page. The styled tone paths are going to be the same tier as those. But we can make the worn stone paths. And you just use the master blood orb on those. So with these, I don't think I explained it last episode. Um, basically... Last episode when I first built this, I got it wrong. I thought I could do three wood, and then it said the stone paths have a length of five they can go out, so I thought I could do five, and then I could do the next ones, which have a length of like seven, and then the last ones with a length of, length of nine, which would be massive. But turns out that length is just how far they can be from this initial circle around the uh around the incense altar so like if i put any more stone paths out here right now they won't work they need to be worn stone paths after this point is basically what it means so we uh worn stone paths can go seven blocks out from the center so we can put two more rings around which would be six 12 18 24 of these that we need I feel like I do at least understand how this works. So 24 of those, all those left over are just extra. Let's go ahead and dig this out. Get rid of all this dirt here and put down the new paths. And I think right now we're standing at a 66% bonus, right? Yeah, 66% bonus, 692 tranquility. We throw in the worn stone path. Not much of a difference there. You can very slightly see it. But we'll get these rings put down and it should boost up a good bit. Which helps our sacrificing out a good bit when we do it. Yeah, we are now at 87% with 974 tranquility. Uh, we already have enough Tranquility and Self-Sacrifice runes to basically fully fill this thing up as is, so it doesn't help too much. But I think the end goal with this is to make the Tranquility, the Incense Altar, so good and make our Living Armor so good at sacrificing that ideally we can get rid of a lot of these Self-Sacrifice runes and throw in other stuff, like Speed runes would be a good thing. Uh, maybe the charging runes. I don't know. There are a bunch of different runes we can add and look into. I would rather mess with that at the end when I know what I'm doing with this altar. Because right now, it ain't working. Okay, so I think the other thing that we'll probably do this episode... We kind of just upgraded our altar, made a new crafting thing, and have just been upgrading basic stuff. So why don't we... Upgrade our common Tartaric Gem into a greater one. We actually need the wills to do that. Which means we need to do some uh, rituals for that, which I really didn't want to get into this episode. So these wills, um, they're crystallized will. And basically they can be burned in a demon crucible that we don't even have. They change how the sentient tools behave. This doesn't actually tell us how to get them here. So if you unleash demon will into the atmosphere, 
Uh, you can empower rituals, and you can condense it into crystal clusters. And that gets you these. And you use those to upgrade the Tartaric Gem, which... We definitely don't have time to do all that today. Maybe instead... We can go ahead and look into the ritual we were trying to do last time to train our living armor a bit better. So let's see, that was, I'm gonna have to look through those. Uh, rituals, we did Edge of the Hidden Realm, that got us the portal over there. Uh, we wanna do the living evolution first. Which we need the dusk runes, runes for, right. So we need to change our ritual diviner into a ritual diviner dusk. Which means we need two demonic slates and two inscription tool dusks. Which, how do I make those? Block of coal in a tier four makes that. Okay. So you guys have already seen how to make the demonic slates. Uh, I wonder if charcoal will work. I would assume so, right? Uh, it, it is not. It is not working. Okay. So we need actual blocks of coal for this. Two of them. Let's go ahead and pop back over here. Grab these. I'm definitely going to have to clean out my inventory after this episode. Don't worry, I will. Yeah, now that is making the Dusk inscription tools. We needed two of those. Uh, not the Ritual Tinkerer. We might make the Tinkerer to this episode. I don't know. Uh, two Demonic Slates and just our Diviner. Okay. That's pretty easy. Like I said, you guys know those don't stack, damn it. You guys know how to make the demonic slate, so I'm going to cut that part out. Okay, and we're back. I have four demonic slates here because we're going to need two more for the ritual tinkerer as well. But for now, we should be able to get started. I was reading through some stuff, figuring out what all we can actually do here. Sadly, there's not a whole lot left of the mod that's implemented. But there, we're going to have at least one more episode of this mod. Don't worry. So let's see. We put that there and then we need that. We need that in the middle. So once again, we put that there and these there. And that makes the Ritual Diviner Dusk. So the problem we had last episode was we couldn't paint Dusk Runes with the regular Ritual Diviner. Now we have this upgraded so we can paint any rituals that require Dusk Runes. At least that's my understanding. Now we also want to make the Ritual Tinkerer. We need two gold, two glass, and our two demonic slates. We got the gold right there. Let's go get two glass from our chests over here. Um, Which one? That one. Just need two for now. Don't want to fill up my inventory too much. And let's see if I remember how to make it. Those were on the side. That was there. Those were there and those were there. We're going to start switching stuff until it works. Um, I think that might have been... Okay, I'll just I'll relook it up. Gold on side, glass on top. Okay, it was that. These make like the rod, I guess. Gold on sides, glass on top. That is our ritual tinkerer. Yet another tool that we will be using next episode for a lot of the rituals, I guess. I don't think there's a lot we can do with it because we need the will to change the rituals around. Uh, I can kind of show that on some of them. Uh, what's a good one? I read through all of these. Green Grove, I guess. It grows crops within its area, but we can add different crystallized will with the Ritual Tinkerer to change it. We can increase the speed. We can make entities within get attacked by nearby plants to feed their growth. Um, 
increase the rate that a growth tick is successful, and increase the maximum growth range of the ritual. Along with that, and then we can use the ritual tinkerer to change the area, I guess. I don't know. It's complicated stuff I haven't looked into. I just know we needed this, so I didn't look into it before. Basically, right? Basically. All right. Um, right, I'm going to need that here in a second. I think we do have time to knock out at least one ritual with the new diviner. And like I said, we're going to try the living evolution one. So we need 48 total blank runes. And how do we make the blank runes again? Or the ritual stones? Right. We need a lot of reinforced slate. 48 of them. I guess I'll be right back with that. Okay, and we are back. Hopefully for the final time this episode, I think this ritual will be the last thing I do because I'm getting tired of standing here sacrificing stuff. Also, my ring is completely out of mana, so I can just barely eat to regain health, which is what I used to sacrifice here. So not much longer, and then we're done. We need to craft these into... Ritual stones. I don't think I have that saved. No, I don't have that saved. So how do I make the ritual stones again? Um, da, 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 da. No, not there. We need to go into rituals. Ritual stones. Okay, so yeah. Four of these. Four obsidian. Yikes. That's 48 obsidian that we need. We need to make more obsidian. Love that. Uh, where was obsidian? There we go. Let's go ahead and just craft all of this. Okay, and then it was just those four, four of those, and then the blood orb in the middle, right? Yeah. I hope so. That's what we're going with. That was... Hold on. I've confused myself. Let's do it that way. Okay, is is that right? I, I I think that's right. Yeah, because that'll equal out there. Okay. Uh um There we go. A little bit of lag there, but we got it. Okay. Uh we also need a master ritual stone. Which needs four more ritual stones. So I actually need four more of these reinforced stones. <sighs> Okay, I got four more. I got four more. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Um, no, those don't go there. They go there because I need to make them into four more ritual stones first. And then these, I think, go like that. And we put more obsidian around. And that makes our master one just like that. There we go. I believe we place that down. And with this new Ritual Diviner, we should be able to cycle through more. Uh, we want to find the Living Evolution, yes. And we right-click this, and it starts building it for us. Nice and easy. I don't see where the Dusk Runes that we needed are. No, those were what were holding us back. Oh, they're the white ones here. Okay, I would think dusk more like dark colors, but that works too. Okay. So to activate this, I think we just step on here. We need our activation crystal. We need our activation crystal first. Okay, I think we just step on the middle block. And we right-click the Master Stone. I am too weak. I don't have enough life essence in my personal network. Okay. Um, how much do I need? This is the Living Evolution. I need 50,000 life points. How much do I have? I have no idea. Do, do, do. Seer Sigil. I can never... 
get this one to show me how much I have until I do this. Current essence is 26,700. We need about 24,000, which is less than what we have in here. So we can just put that down and let that soak up everything in the altar for now. Can I eat more? I can, okay. I am slowly but surely regaining mana after this mess of an episode. I do apologize for all the cuts. Obviously, things didn't really go to plan. I planned to do the demon will stuff, and then I decided I didn't need it. And then I moved to do the altar, and I did all this rune upgrading, which didn't work how I thought it would. But I'm going to figure it out before next episode. And then, of course, I went to upgrade the Tartaric Gym, and then I realized, wow, I do need to do the demon will stuff. We're going to do that next time. And it's just a bunch of fun stuff. But don't worry, I've been thinking it over. And I think we definitely will be able to end this Blood Magic series next episode. I'll give you guys my plan in a second. Let me do this first. So we stand here. It's, it's not, oh, oh, oh. Did it work? It did. So all that does is give us 200 extra upgrade points. So now we have 300 instead of 100 that we can spend. Can I do it again? I wouldn't think I would be able to do it twice. I don't think it said that. Yeah, increases the amount to 300. It doesn't add 200. It increases it to 300. So I don't think I can do it again. It's nice, though. It didn't consume the runes. Or the, um... Whatever you call these things. The ritual stones. When you do the one for the hidden realm, for this thing... It turns all the ritual stones into smooth stones, so you lose them. But you get to keep them from this one, which is very nice. Very nice indeed. And it makes me wonder if maybe I can go ahead and do the next one real quick. So we have a little bit more for the end of this episode. So we feel like we have a little bit of progress at least. I mean, that would be nice, right? Totally nice. But I actually, I don't want to do that right now because I'm not sure how I want to do it. So we're going to end there for now. The plan for next time, before the episode even begins, I am going to math out how I want this final altar to look like. I'm going to figure out how many storage capacity things I need because I guess I need the regular ones and the augmented ones. I'm going to get the stuff that we need for speed runes and whatever other runes I want. And I'll start by showing you guys how to make those. And then we'll put the altar together and we'll go to the final tier at that point. The final tier doesn't add anything yet. But I still want to build it. I want a complete altar. So we're going to start the episode off with that. And then we're going to shift gears to rituals. We're going to do the rest of the living armor rituals that I want to do. Uh, there's a few of them. I want to do, 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 do... We're going to do the cleansing soul one. That's going to get us like all of our upgrade tomes back from what we've leveled up. Basically give us a fresh start with the armor so we can train it how we want. And I'm going to want to do Penance of the Leaden Soul to downgrade parts of it. Because if we downgrade parts of the armor, where, where alchemy, yeah. If we give it downgrades, then we're going to get upgrade points back that we can further spend for even more upgrades. And I want to upgrade this thing to where it's maxed out on healthy, get all the health we can. I want to max it out on tough palms. And I think I might want to give it bodybuilder too for even more health here. The idea is basically give it as much health and sacrificing power as I possibly can. That way 
it's super easy to fill up this altar instantly. And I feel like between the armor and the incense altar, we probably don't need any more self-sacrifice runes. So I can exchange those for speed runes and storage and make this like the ultimate altar for me to use. So yeah, we're going to max out the altar, max out our living armor, and then we're going to jump into the demon will rituals. And we're going to make the best Tartaric gem we can. And after that, it's just bits and pieces, whatever we want to do to finish out the mod. That's going to all be next time. Thank you for listening to my rant. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.